Sarah Massey is a high school English language arts teacher with Foundations for the Future Charter Academy. Today, Sarah is using a thinking organizer called Say Me Matter to engage her students and help them organize their thoughts to do a critical analysis of the play Macbeth. Say Me Matter engages students in a thinking routine that can be used to extract deep meaning from a literary text. The strategy is also a helpful format for the analysis portion of a body paragraph in a critical essay. So our students use this strategy from grade 9 to grade 12, but um, even in grade, the higher grades, grade 11, grade 12, it's still important to be modeling it before you ask them to do it and to also have opportunities to work together to do saving matter because oftentimes we're thinking about really high level thinking or high level ideas and it can be it can be tough for teenagers that don't have a ton of life experience to approach those ideas so modeling that critical thinking is really important. The other tip I have is when you get to the matter and they're asked to take the text out of it and come up with a, a life statement basically uh, sometimes they struggle with that. So taking the situation that's happening in the text and trying to find a similar experience from their own life or even from another text or even from a movie can be helpful to get the life lesson out of that experience. Well, um, with the mean part especially, when you do say it's kind of just a paraphrase, but with the mean you actually have to go in, look at the literary devices, and like how the character is developing and whatnot, um, which helps with the matter, which is the human condition part. And then with the human condition, it, it kind of, you kind of bring into your own personal, personal experiences in order to make the matter and um, connect it to what the text is saying. When you're starting Saving Matter with students, it's probably important that you select the quotation so that they have enough to work with. Um, and as you work through this with them and you instruct them in good quotation selection, then they can start to choose their own significant quotations, but to make sure that they have enough material to analyze. So like after uh, Macbeth orders Banquo to be killed, um, he's like he's like excessively like paranoid and like guilt ridden, and then like Lady Macbeth insults him because um, you know he's like filled with this guilt and like he's like, acting like excessively paranoid and he's like basically like losing his mind and acting like over superstitious. Uh, so like he's at this point he's hallucinating again because he uh, um, sees Banquo's ghost. So Lady Macbeth uh, tries to tell him that it's like the dagger he sees again. And here there's a metaphor as well. He it says a woman's story at a winter fire. So this is showing showing how um, like he's basically Lady Macbeth is basically calling Macbeth like a old lady and ridiculing him about it. And um, overall, he's feeling re like really guilty. For the matter, uh, the quote suggests that when a manipulative individual loses control over a situation, they will use their previous tactics in order to regain power for their own selfish intentions to be fulfilled. To give kids a structure for thinking when they're reading something, so um, it gets them thinking about what literally what is happening in a situation that they're reading, but also to look for that deeper meaning and to connect it to their own personal life with the matter. So especially in the mean part, I'm looking for them to fulfill all of the items on that checklist. They're looking for any changes in the character, character motivation, literary devices, symbolism, other connections in the text. And then I want to see in matter that they're, they're able to compare that to a real life situation without being too literal and dependent on the text. 
I find that this helps me to connect it to the real world um, easier and just to help understand and break down the text even more, which gives me a better understanding of not only the section of it, but also the full piece of footage. So the end goal is hopefully that they're doing this independently as they're reading and as they're working through literature, uh, but it does take a lot of modeling and collaboration to set that up.